Tonight, the other big concern is a backlog of testing and the mounting cases is letting things fall through the cracks. In turn, people are getting aggravated and confused. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is at the County Health Department tonight in Berkeley. Ashley, one mother says delays are keeping her daughter from getting back into the classroom. That's right, Corey. We found out tonight that these increasing numbers are playing a role in the volume of cases that are managed here at the health department, leaving many waiting for weeks for required paperwork that's needed before returning to school and work in some cases. My hands were tied. Alicia Hancock says it's a frustrating standstill waiting for the St. Louis County Health Department to release vital paperwork. Everyone told me to just basically sit back and wait. She told News 4 she'd been awaiting clearance from the county for her daughter to go back to school after she recovered from COVID-19. I was having symptoms, so I got tested. News 4 found county policy states any student or staff member must have a release from isolation letter from the health department before returning to school. Hancock says school officials at Rogers Middle and Afton are also waiting on letters for staff members. In this policy, we can't keep up with that. In Hancock's case, when her daughter was done quarantining and ready to return to school, county leaders said they had no status on when her daughter's paperwork would be ready. There's no reason why private physicians can't handle this. News 4 found there's a backlog within the health department on issuing letters. They are getting approximately 800 cases a day. We reached out to the health department. They say they're overwhelmed. The department says they're stressed on all points of responding to cases at every aspect, including getting test results from labs, assigning people to cases, contact tracing investigation, and getting release letters of isolation issued. The latest numbers from the county show the average number of COVID-19 diagnoses a day are 643 cases. If the county health department is overwhelmed, why can't we allow the physicians to do that? And the county tells us that the solution in all of this is that they're encouraging residents to contact the health department to get updates on their cases. However, in Hancock's case, she says that got her nowhere. After our phone calls today, we did find out that the county did issue her daughter that letter. So now she is allowed to return back to school in Berkeley. Ashley Lincoln, News 4.